Hi, I'm Amy at Eurolux.com, and today I'd like to tell you about this very beautiful piece. It is our number 22-129. This is just a gorgeous French Renaissance buffet. It is hand carved in solid walnut. Uh, it has just a beautiful patina. It dates right about 1900, 1890, 1900, right around there. Uh, but this is the kind of walnut that as it ages, it just begins to glow. And I think that it, this walnut is just so pretty as it sits and it, be, it gets this just rich, warm, golden color. And I think you can see it uh, in the video, but it is just stunning in person. So I'd like to tell you about all of the beautiful features of this piece. Uh, first, we'll start up at the top. This is uh, very nicely carved. It has the rounded pediment at the top with uh, what would be referred to as a heraldic crest. Uh, there's not actually any carvings in that circle at the top, so it wasn't made for a particular family. This was just made for anyone who liked a beautiful piece of furniture. And you have that dental frieze that goes around the top of the, the rounded pediment. And then that dental frieze is mirrored again in along the top of the piece. And then right in the center, we have a lion's face, which is just a little cute, whimsical add to this piece. But then as you come back, you see the beautiful doors, very symmetrical. Uh, we have ge geometric frame here where everything is square and rectangles. And then you have the really nice fluted columns. All of that is hand carved, all of the little details in the columns, uh, these little rings that go around, all of that is carved in each column. And then here in the center is a very beautiful, uh, typical Renaissance carving. You have a vase and you have acanthus leaves with swirls all around. And again, this isn't glued on. This is carved directly into this panel. Uh, and all of these frames are carved directly into this panel. And each of these frames go even further in recess. Uh, there's just lots, it's like little molding, picture frame molding. It's very deep and it's very well made, beautifully handcrafted. So you have all of that, which just makes that top so beautiful. And then as you come down onto the piece, you have a very nice plate rack here where you can put uh, your favorite, your grandmother's favorite china or blue and white dishes or whatever would work wonderful with your decor. You have pretty hand turned spindles. And then you have these, uh, which hold up the top, these support columns, but they are all carved. Uh, lots of carvings. The dental frieze, again, is repeated here, that geometric pattern. And while we're here, I'll go ahead and point out that often Renaissance pieces um, from this time period around 1900 will have use stains. So you can see that there is some stains here. Looks like maybe something was set here. There are some scratches. Here's some more, a few more dark stains, some more scratches on the top. But really, if you think about it, we all get wrinkles as we age. And so these are just part of this piece's wrinkles. Um, they're part of the charm that now goes with this piece. So I'll go ahead and continue showing you. Uh, the hardware on this piece is just exceptional. You can see it's a little lion face. Uh, and this is very heavy, um, this drawer pull. And I'll go ahead and pull open the drawer so that you can see. Um, it's a nice thick, uh, drawer face here and then here on the side um, you can see that there's dovetail joints so it's very nicely crafted and then the pattern is repeated down on the lower doors so we have three lower doors and here in the center medallion uh, is uh, sort of a fruit and some leaf pattern and again this very deeply recessed geometric frame uh, is on each door and that is very thick and then we have more Renaissance carvings here on this door with the columns on each side so a very handsome piece very beautiful and I'll go ahead and open it because now that you see how beautiful it is and you want it in your house you, you're thinking well but how much can I put in it uh, so you have a nice big area with lots of storage on this spot side 
and then this side opens here, so you have another little space here. Now I will tell you that this lock is fixed. Um, maybe we can try some WD-40, but right now it doesn't work. But the other lock did work. And that's just part of the charm of antique pieces. Sometimes all the locks work, sometimes you'll have a lock that's frozen. Down here at the bottom, this also flies open. And then this door opens, so giving you lots of space. Again, you could put books, you could put clothes and sweaters. Uh, all of your miscellaneous things, whatever you need to store. And then there's one more space on this side. And this lock also uh, does not want to turn very well, it just turns a little bit. But overall, this is a very handsome piece. Uh, you really could use it anywhere in your home. It is a nice big piece. It measures 104 high, 63 and a half wide, and 24 deep. So it is a nice, impressive piece. If you're looking for something stunning to put in your dining room to really uh, catch your family and friends' attention when they're eating in your home for the holidays, um, this would be a beautiful piece. It could also go in a living room or a den to store all of your miscellaneous things. Could go in a man cave uh, to hide all of the clutter. Uh, wherever you would like to use it. We've also had uh, customers use these in bedrooms to store clothes. Uh, it's a very versatile piece, but very beautiful. And if I can answer any additional questions, please feel free to give me a call at 803-276-4001. And remember, Eurolux Home provides free shipping in the continental U.S. and most parts of Canada.